What's up guys? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. On today's episode, we've got a little project here. I am building a small gravel pad for a shed to be delivered on. I got the old bobcat here. And I've just laid out four corners of our shed pad here. It's going to be 14 by 22, so just a little guy. First thing I'm going to do, fire up the old skid steer. We're going to come in and skim off just the grass and a little bit of topsoil and stuff. It seems like we're already kind of on a rock base. So uh, probably won't have to take very much. Then we'll lay down some fabric and go get some stone. So this ground here is just super hard, really compacted uh, rock with fine material in it and uh, having a hard time digging it with a smooth bucket, but we're going to we're gonna try to get this done with a smooth bucket so I don't have to go get the tooth one, but if I have to, I have to, but uh, it's probably going to probably gonna take a little bit of chiseling and scraping here. All right, I fought it and I fought it and I fought it and this back corner mainly, but really that whole upper side there, is just so stinking hard that uh, that machine with just a smooth bucket on it can't even touch it. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go grab the tooth bucket because my lowest point down here, you know, I could, I could just cut a little bit and fill it, but you know, we're trying to get the whole grade down some, so. I have to get that corner lower because I have not been able to hardly scratch it.
it ain't one thing, you know it's going to be just another. I'm trying to change my bucket here, and the uh, the lever that locks on the bucket just snapped off on that side. So it's just a bolt, as far as I know. But now I got to stop and take it apart and fix that, otherwise I can't keep working. So now let's do that. So you can see how this works on this side here. There's a bolt that goes all the way up through the plate here and then the handle up against the quick attach plate and then there's a spacer on the bolt in there, a spring for tension here and a nut and washer there. And basically that just keeps the handles from jiggling around and from this thing possibly coming unlatched while you're operating the machine. So. Looks like all I gotta do is drive this bolt out, run up to the hardware store, and get another one. Oh, she's in there. Oh, she's in there. Need a different punch. Man. All right, I couldn't budget with the little ball peen hammer, so we're moving on to the BFH. There it goes. Yeah, there's the culprit. So here's actually all the pieces that came off of that thing. There's the bolt that let loose. This is a spacer on the inside and this is that spring that goes uh, in the middle here. This spacer is pretty well toasted up. I don't, I can't tell from looking at this side if this was originally welded onto that plate or not. I'm gonna have to look at the parts breakdown when I get home. Uh, but might be ordering a new, new one of these things if it does anything more than just space. But I don't think it does. I think it's gonna be just fine for me to put it back together like that. Back with our bolt. <clears throat> Got that all the way in there. Uh, spacer. There we go, huh? Back that off a bit. Yep, still a little too tight. That right there feels pretty good. And we are back in action.
Okay, that tooth bucket sure did the trick for us. I got this thing pretty darn good and level uh, by eye. And what I'm doing now is laying out these landscape ties across here. And what I'll do is pin the first side there, which is presumably the high spot. But I, I do have the level on it. It's actually pretty close to level right there. But anyway, what I'll do is pin the higher side and then lift up the low side to make it level and then stake it right wherever it is that makes it level and uh, just keep running them flush like that all the way around here. Alrighty, we got our frame completed here. Looks good. Now we just gotta dump some gravel in it.
Okay, we're back down here a couple days later. This is the shed that they had put in. I was hoping I'd get to come down here whenever they dropped it off, but uh, I was in the middle of something. But uh, looks like they got it on there nice. They didn't uh, tear up the gravel too much. I've seen a lot of these once they drop them off, you know, the, from them sliding them off the trailer, the gravel's all mounded up back here, distorted. But they, uh, they did a good job. Looks like it's a pretty nice little shed. And uh, yeah, our little spoiled dirt there, I smoothed that off and leveled up the yard a little bit with it. This was all rock at one time, they said, so you really got nothing good here until the grass grows up through it again. So anyway, we'll go ahead and throw the machine on the trailer. I gotta take it home, do a little bit of work on it. I got a roll of geotech to pick up and we are done. Okay guys, that's another one in the books. Just got the machine home here. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing some tinkering on it here. Some of the, uh, the, the controls are getting a little jerky, which they've done before. It's either an adjustment or a little uh, cam follower bearing wearing out on me. But uh, not a big deal, we'll get that taken care of and you guys will see that in an upcoming video. But anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Look at him, he can't even help himself. What do you think, Roscoe? You goofy, huh? <laughs>